Ladies and gentlemen of the town squad, welcome to our first look of VGC 2019 on Battle Spot Ranked Live featuring our Necrozma Dust main team. The Trick Room Glory and all of its bodacious power rocking out with, obviously the team is right here, ready to go. If you guys do yourself, link to the team or description or the, what do you call it, the, the copy paste is in the, is, in the, is in the thing down below my friends, you check it out for yourselves. For now, coming at you guys live with a fresh rating. Right off, hot off the presses, my friends, ready to go. We're using the same with Showdown. Wasn't entirely sold on the Hitmon top just yet. Might change it. Let me know you guys think in the comments down below. He's more so there for the wide guard shenanigans for her D Gleams and uh, Water Spouts and things like that. But you guys have been in the comments down below. Of course, if you're ready to see the VGC 19 of the channel, show some love to, the, to that like button down below. And let's climb this ladder, my friends. We got Grath, Dialga, Ho Oh. Um, Bulu, Oranguru, uh, oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get wrecked. I guarantee I'm gonna lose this game. Tyranitar and Toga tomorrow. I don't even know how to go about this right here. You're gonna lead, like, Oranguru and Toga tomorrow. Give me a really fast fake out. What I'm gonna do is, like, I have to lead Incineroar, because he, like, wrecks your whole entire team, besides the Tyranitar. Uh, we're gonna go with that, and then probably... Eveltal? Like, cause like, <laughs> what, I'm, I'm still gonna get paralyzed from Nuzzle, even if I bring in the Phoenix or Flying type. Uh, oh man, dude. Why is this stupid Fecal Rat throwing me off so bad? So we're doing, man, we're going Evelt Soul and Cinnamon. Back it up with a lovely. We could also go Hitmon top too. Probably gonna go Hitmon top. Pimentel like, sucks against everything except for like. He sucks against Bulu and Ho Oh. Oh, we're gonna run out of time. We're gonna run out of time. Um. Um, 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 um. Necrozma. Hit my top. I'm just gonna do that, my friends. I don't know how this game is gonna go down, but. We got an interesting game one right away, my friends. If you are ready for some VGC 19 Battle Spot Rank Live, show some like to that like button down below. Let's get it, my friends. Let's see how many times I can start it as well, because our starter game is on freaking point right now. Jesus, English is hard, apparently. All right, Graf, what do you got? Toga tomorrow and Oranguru, or like Toga tomorrow, or just Ho Oh Bulu. All right. That works. That works. Ho Oh Bulu. I'm just going to go for a glorious. Fake out Ho Oh Oblivion Wing Bulu, cause why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Comparing the math, that's gum. Timmy goes off. So Bulu is faster than the incident. we keep that in mind. Turn went up first. Good knowledge right there, good knowledge, good knowledge, good knowledge. Let's go for that fake out. We've increased power knockoffs as well from Even abilities. Just do that. Straight up Oblivion Wing the Bulu get some damage on it. If not, free damage to somebody that comes in. Or you go protect, protect. What are the two? Yeah, I'm gonna probably bring in the uh, the um the the Hitmon top next. He's just putting that back to being Cinderor. Oh, is that it? Ooh. Seats are you say? Seats are you say? Fine by me. Definitely bringing Hitmon top in ASAP then. Blue protect, so nothing gains here. We're gonna fake out the, the, the Tyranitar, get bad damage on it, and right back to full you go, courtesy of the terrain. Let's see who gets terrain uh terrain first though. Let's see who gets the terrain first. So Bulu gets it by sand first. So Bulu's faster than the Evil Tall as well. Who's faster than Cinder, obviously, because we know that. Alright. Uh I might just switch out the So I'll bring in Hitmon top. Yeah, I'll bring in Hitmon top, and then I'll go for the Oblivion Wing again. No reason to switch out just yet with the uh, with the Evil Tall. I could go with Snarl, call the Boodle to switch out, but I don't want to get too zesty. Boodle might also go sub. He is faster than me, so I might as well just try to break up for such a sub, get damage on, and make it easier late game. As Boodle is a problem for this team right now, having a Hitmon top and a Crossman in the back. Well, I should say a problem, but it is what it is. All right, who's coming in? Uh oh comes back in, and we have the close combat ready to kill a two-tone whenever we want with the, uh, Hitmontop is gonna be coming in. Alright, goodbye Incineroar. Hello Hitmontop. Seatsar, what is your move? Uh oh is Bulkus. It doesn't do nothing to him. But Negwin Titar is a great Titar. We want faster than Titar, that's really good to know. 
Nice little chunk right there. Better than nothing. Back to full we go. And we're going to see Rock Slide most likely. There it is. Ooh, big chunk of Evil Tall. I don't like that one bit, fam. All right. EJ's putting it up. We out of here. He's life orb as well. Life orb confirmed, bringing the Incineroar. That's actually a really bad EJ button. Feels bad, man. Feels bad now. t is a threat, but it's, it's next to now, at least. He's next to at least. I feel like he wants to switch it out, but he might not, because like, even, even though he's that neg two, could make it neg three as well. So, like, do you really want to stay in with that thing? I don't think he will stay in. I'm going to go for fake out on the Ho-Oh. And I'm going to Oblivion Wing the T-Tar slot. He might protect, which is fine. But if he does, that, that doesn't prevent him on top. That gives me a free on top. But he doesn't want that. So no one doesn't want that. It's better for to switch it out. But me knowing that, going for the Oblivion Wing on that side, hopefully catch the blue will be incredible. But you might bring in your last mom. We know you have blue in the back and the unknown is still unknown. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting thing here, Talon Squad. Very interessante. Can't bring in my uh, Necrozma until Ho -Oh is dealt with. So this is like bad news bears all around. He stayed in with it. Wow. That's wild. All right. That's absolutely wild. He stayed in. Could have easily got a free neck three. Now we oh, we're probably gonna lose this game now. Rip, dude, that really sucks. Nimble, nimble, nimble. Ah, that's one nimble. I'll live, but not well. <sighs> Kinda good. Sans digging away. I'm gonna knock off Ho-Oh now. Probably double to the Ho-Oh. Try to get it out of here. Can't have Regenerator, because the uh, ability is hitting. You can't get that in this game, so... If we just knock off the Ho-Oh -Oh here. And make T-Tar like really useless. See people talk for later. Maybe he could do well against a Bulu or something. I don't know. Use a fodder. I don't know. Make T-Tar neck three. Get in the fake out online. And we'll see what happens here, fam. Also lower Ho is brave but potential, exactly. That sucks. He probably read that. I'll live that though. Not well, but we will indeed live it. Center our please, center our please, please, please. Yes. Alright, Necrozma is free. Necrozma's free now. You're a neck three on T-Tar. Magleberry just out of that range. Thank God for that. Hit my top barely alive here. We got two mods barely alive, and we got like. We're in bad shape, dude. We're in bad shape, fam. Right, who are you bringing? Yeah, I can bring in Bulu. You're gonna bring in, like, somebody else. T-Tar being in neck three gives me hope, though. Gives me a lot of hope. So what do you do here? Hit my Taco slowly dances the Alga. All right. I mean, I could fake out the Dialga. And then knock off Dialga. Let me do that. Let me do the obvious play. Let, let my, uh, also go wide guard, actually. Yeah, let's actually get greedy here. Let's go and knock off Dialga and wide guard. Because he might protect Dialga. I just miss everything. This wide guard covers more options long term. So we'll do that. Flash kind of says goodbye, hit on top. And it's like guarantees a knockoff on the uh, Dialga. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Ba ba. Kind of item you got over there. Wiki Berry is now gone. Sand is gone. It's exactly what I want. Uh. 
Honestly, I got nothing good for this thing, man. I got nothing good. Grass is gone. He had Bulu in the back. All right. Maybe not have Trick Room on it. He might go Trick Room. I'll bring an Evil Toll here. See what he does. So, Knockoff with the boost might be stronger than the Flare, but no, it's not. That's a lie. That's a lie, because Knockoff would go to, like... Knockoff is 65, plus Stab makes it, like... Just for easy math, 95. It's a little bit more than 95, then the plus the 1.3, which is another physical 120. Flubbits is better. Flubbits, Dialga. Uh, Sucker Punch, Dialga. I think they're still at neck three. That's fine by me. He might protect. He might go Trick Room, bring in Bulu. Nope, nothing. All right, beautiful. Dropping that Joey. Cinder will be gone, dude. That, that sucks. Cinder is gone. Cinder is gone, as gone can be. You go for. I need to be nimble, dude. Ah, like I said, this is a weird game one, dude. This is a weird game one, and we're gonna lose. We are gonna lose it. However, him being at neg two. Life Orb shenanigans. We're bringing the Krasma. That goes just a little bit lower. I should have got Protect there. Fluff! Oh, well. I like to just sit with his stupid ass uh, shenanigans. Sunstew Strike or Photon Laser? Go for the Sunset Trigger in case he turns into Bulu, which he won't, but he is next to, which is great. Sure, that's the best case scenario for me right there. I'm faster, beautiful. Yo, let me get that crit. Let me get that crit and try to win this game. That would be dope. You still blow, there's no way this kills you. you. Need the crit, honestly. Trick room it is. Sure. Fine by me. Now he might protect, he might protect Dialga and then go for Tyranitar with that attack. I'm gonna protect here. No, because he might, he might bring in the Bulu. Yeah, I'm just gonna go Dialga again. Here comes Bulu. No surprise, and he protects. Alright, terrain helps me. Lowers EQ damage. Oh, wow, we're speed tying? Or did you reverse trick room again? What did you do? This is a really weird game one. This is a really weird game one. He has crunch, though. So, like, a plus three crunch is going to destroy me. I mean, a, a, a nod neck three crunch is going to destroy me. Alright, there's T-Tar. I'm just gonna go for the Sunstone Strike on T-Tar, try to kill it. Let's see what he does. There's the Crunch Policy, goes off. Alright, there's life, there's life. Oh no, there's not life now. There's no life now, I'm gonna die to a wood hammer. That sucks so bad, we killed T-Tar. Dude, if that defense shot doesn't happen, I think I still win this game. Depends what Bulu does. Bulu might be dumb and go like, Nature's Madness. Wood hammer, yep. It's a dumb game one, dude. It's an absolutely retarded game one. Oh, well. Sucks, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks. But what can you do, friends? What can you do? What could I have done differently there? I really don't know. I guess protect the incinerator. That's my own fault. Oh, let's go to game two. It's okay. Let's just go to game two. It's a dumb, dumb, dumb game one, but whatever. We're gonna run into those weird ass teams early on in the low tier. All right. No. Yes. And let's move on. Yes. Interesting. What could I have done differently there? Like. 
I could have reversed Trick Room instead of going for an attack. But even if I reverse Trick Room, I still died in the freaking Wood Hammer. Defense Drop might have not mattered. It's just, um, I don't know. It's not how you want to start 2019, dude. That is not how you watch this 2019 season right there. But it is what it is, friends. It is what it is. Let's just go out with the, uh, let's go out the bank, man. It's a long game. That's what sucks. Probably can't squeeze in three games now. Because I don't, I don't, I don't want to make these more than a half hour. So we're going to keep them. We'll keep it two games here. That's all right. Finny, Ferrothorn. I mean, if I have Ferrothorn there instead. Instead of, like, the, uh. Yeah, the biggest thing was when he read the Hitmontop. Or we went for an attack on the Hitmontop slot. The Brave Bird. But he kept that T-Tar in for so long. Like, he could have. I feel like he could have played better. I could have played better. It doesn't matter. Game's over. Come on, Jim. I know it's been a while. Hey, there we go. We got our friend from Japan over here rocking out with... Chop, Evil Tall. Uh, Dustmane, Necroz... Uh, Thornwings, Necrozma. Excadrill. Tyranitar. Coco. Uh... Pretty sure I'm going to Krozma and Cinderor lead. No, I'm going to Krozma on top without a dad. The Krozma hit him on top. Back it up with Tapu Fini. And then I guess like Ferrothor for the Coco. Yep, that's that. It's game two right there. Now, this one's heavily in our favor. If we lose this game, there's a problem. There's a problem, my friends. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if he's carrying Fire Blast Guard Shop. Imagine if he is. That would throw me for a loop and could cost me the game. But this one, hit on top of the cross elite here is phenomenal, no matter what you do. I should be okay, friends. I should be okay with this. Bar like a taunt. Chomp Goku. Alright. I think we're just gonna wide guard and then trick room. Because he might go protect EQ. I mean, I'll live in EQ. I'm telling you, he's gonna go protect EQ. I'm gonna trick room here. And I'm gonna fake out the uh, chomp. Let's do that. If he is taunt, so be it. I'll accept the consequences of you having taunts. Ah, friends, that's why I should have just gone for the Coco there. Feels really bad, man. Played myself, dude. Played myself. Played myself. I'll just go wide guard in case you go for uh, discharge. All right, he's out of here. Titor comes to play ball. I, I, I quit close combat. I would have been. Oh my god, dude! I was so. What the hell kind of switch is that? Because I wanted to switch out. Wow. Or, or he goes to the policy. He knows that maybe. I'm, I mean, he knows I have Egypt part. I switch out from that. I almost went for the fluffing close combat there, though, dude. Well, you're not going discharge now. You're going like multi switch a U turn. Oh wow, you do. What the hell play was that then? What the hell play was that then? Sure, man. Sure. Parallel Jones did a great, awesome job. Phenomenal. Eject button. Waste your eject button. What the hell was that? Was that like the highest IQ play of the century, or is that the lowest IQ we've ever seen in our lives? Speed boost. All right, it's fine. But like, even still, like... Power Whip Excadrill. Just going to the Y Guard. He can't EQ the Iron Head. I eat Iron Heads all day. So, like, you can't discharge either. Alright, we'll bring it back. We'll bring it back a bit. Iron Head hit what's up? I'm out of here. Alright. Egypt button goes off. I don't want to bring it. I, I, I can bring Finny. No, you can shoot my T-Bolt. I'll risk it. I'm gonna risk it, fam. I'm gonna risk it. Ready to terrain. I see what you do here. You can't discharge again. 
So see we have T-Bolt. Sure. That's fine. And let's power up that extra drill. Get some big damage on him. Beautiful. Sand's gonna hit everybody besides the uh, steel babies. All right. Now, Gyroball Coco and Protect. Let's play that game. Because you think I'm gonna bring T Tar back. Uh, my actually, my, my god, English. My hit my tap back in. This is what I think you're gonna think. I don't know. This, this is honestly a really weird game. The turn one told me was really bad. I should have known. Like I said, it's gonna happen and it happens. So I'm gonna try to gyro ball and kill the Coco. And then bait like the uh actually Michael Sky Drop. Are you effing kidding me with this garbage filthy game right now? Ungoddamn believable, dude. Horn drill. And of course it lands right away. Awesome, man. Alright. Alright. We're playing that game. What else go wrong today, dude? Oh my god. Alright. Let's do this. Wow, dude. Absolutely wow. Fake out Coco. Muddy water. Oh my lord, dude, that's insane! Sure, man. This guy's making the weirdest plays I've ever seen in my life. Watch him dodge, because he's gonna have the uh, sand veil. He's gonna have sand veil. Oh, beautiful. Good, 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 good. Act drop, there we go. Now we're talking, baby. Double act drop, there we go. Make it for that stupid ass orange drill. Alright. Whoops. Let's faint the Coco. Actually, Wygar just covers everything. EQ, poison is a thing, though. Yeah, faint the Coco. Moonblast. I'll make a combo on just Moonblast. Let's do that. Coco Protecto, Coco Deto, or 1 HP. One of the two. One of the two. He's gonna die to sand, so that works too. Cool. I should leave this. It's not stab. You're not life orbs. Beautiful. If sand goes away, I'll be upset. I need the sand trick in my berry. I need the sand trick in my berry, fam. Of course. Of course. Bring in T-Tar. Please bring in T-Tar. Bring in your paralyzed T-Tar. You know you want to. You know you want to. Yes. I protect. Switch him on top. Let's do that. Bring in the Krasma and protect. Get our berry off. Oh my lord, dude. This is this is a wild episode. This is a wild episode. This is a wild episode, my dudes. Wild. I love how the act drop helps him. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love it. This game is sick. Oh, this game is incredible right now. All right, goodbye, Coco. Give me my berry boosts. All right. My lord, this game. This freaking game, dude. This game, my dude. Switch out Finny for the Hitmontop. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Protect. Bring in Hitmontop. 
If it dies, so be it. I just want extra low, and that's all I really care about. If I live, great. I get a, I get, a, I get like a free fake out. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. This game today, Talent Squad. This game today. <sighs> You're not gonna go EQ here, I don't think. Get that filth out of my face. Get that filth out of my face. Fake at extra jail, then fake the next turn for the kill, hopefully. Wild, dude. Wild games in episode 1 of 2019 Battle Spot. Absolutely wild. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Goodbye, Tyranitar. Very good. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Should've go extra show there, honestly, but I'm on tilt, so that's that. Sunseal strike. Not fake out. Faints. One HP in a dream. Rock Slatterooney. That dude, nothing. He's going for the flinches. Alright, that is that, Town Squad. What a wild, wild game right there, my friends. Thank you for watching, as always. I was telling you, the glorious Town Squad. If you enjoyed this episode, show some love to that, to, that, to that like button down below. Help support my English funds, my friends. And of course, you made it this far. Press subscribe as well. You clearly enjoyed. Much love to you. Have a great day. Enjoy your flipping Tuesday. I'll see you guys next time.